In East Hartford, both the slight smell of jet fuel and the spirit of accomplishment are in the air. Inside a main hangar at Pratt & Whitney headquarters, something to celebrate. Their engine for success is this, the F-135 engine. The morning was reserved to recognize a milestone for a modern marvel made right here. The 1,000th F-135 engine has just been delivered. Jane Eddy is Pratt & Whitney's president. The F-135 engine, as you might know, powers the uh, F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, which is the largest uh, program in DOD. So we're delivering the 1,000th uh, the engine today for that program. Reaching for the sky, that's a reality. Made here, it's 1,000 engines in 13 years. Congressman Joe Courtney and John Larson took part in the festivities. Larson's parents both worked at Pratt. That engine in and of itself weighs 6,000 pounds and flies at unbelievable supersonic speeds and has incredible ability and it's hard to detect because of the stealth qualities. The end use of this, uh, this engine is, again, more important than I think really any time in the history of the program uh, because um, it provides a, a deterrence. The idea is to keep the momentum or the thrust 40,000 pounds of it moving forward. Our state sometimes needs to be reminded that we do important things here, and um, you know, this is one of them. We're very excited to share this with the people of Connecticut, Jim. So, yes, the best part of the day is sharing this with the team at Prina Whitney and the people of Connecticut. And as you saw, there were a few hundred people on hand in the hangar today. The engine is made both in East Hartford and at the Pratt facility in Middletown. Jim Altman, Fox 61 News.